as public servants, government employees, and workers of the University of the Philippines, we have sworn to fulfill with fidelity and to the best of our ability the responsibilities of our current position and other duties assigned to us under the Republic of the Philippines. One of the requirements is compliance with the mandate of UP. It is stated in Section 8 of Republic Act 9500, also known as the UP Charter of 2008, that UP is committed to serve the Filipino nation and humanity and relate its activities to the needs of the Filipino people and their aspirations for social progress and transformation and provide venues for student volunteerism. In August 2019, there was a conversation between the chairman of the Department of Strings and Chamber Music, yours truly, and one of the officers of the All-UP Workers Union Diliman Chapter. We both noticed that there is a current need for our fellow employees to have additional programs focused on health and wellness. We agree that it is necessary to keep the workers physically and mentally healthy in order to fully fulfill our mandate and accomplish our sworn duty. After doing some research, we found studies that have shown that listening to and creating music as well as playing an instrument while singing have a positive effect on the physical and mental health of people, and in addition, help strengthen bonds and build communities. This inspired us to propose a public service initiative, also known as a, an extension work in UP, that would respond to the university's need for additional programs dedicated to employees, health, and wellness. The program is named Guitar at Awit, panimulang klase sa pagigitara para sa manggagawa ng UP Diliman. Or in English, guitar and song, beginning guitar class for UP Diliman employees. The first Guitar at Awit program, or GA, was implemented in 2019 under the leadership of yours truly and my colleague Sulaiman Hamisulamin, along with student volunteers from the UP Guitar Society and in collaboration with the All-UP Workers Union Diliman Chapter. At the end of the program, participants shared their experience in joining GA. According to the participants, it helped them not only in learning to play the guitar, but also in their health and well-being because it served as a stress reliever for them after tiring and long hours of work in the office. In 2020, during during the early months of the pandemic caused by the COVID-19 virus, the entire UP Diliman community learned that classes as well as office work will be made remote. Most of the workers felt worried and anxious because of this new and unfamiliar setup. Adding to the worries is the unstable internet connection, the lack or absence of a conducive place at home to work, lack of electronic gadgets, lack of experience in remote work, concern on how to balance office work and housework, and the fear of being infected with COVID-19. As a result, many UP employees experienced anxiety and a high level of stress, which greatly affected their physical and mental health. Due to these circumstances, the need to have programs dedicated to the health and wellness of UP employees has increased even more. If before the pandemic, they were already experiencing great stress from work. Now, they are definitely facing a bigger challenge. So when the members of GA organizing team discussed the possibility of continuing the program for the second time, even with doubts as to how this can be implemented in the context of remote setup, we chose to continue and participate in the call to serve and respond to the needs of our fellow UP employees. As mentioned a while ago, we found studies that have shown that listening to and creating music as well as playing an instrument while singing have a positive effect on the physical and mental health of people, and in addition, help strengthen bonds and build communities. Moreover, studies have shown that smiling, laughing, and being grateful when regularly practiced can help remove anxiety and stress. These studies have played a major role and helped us from the proposal to the implementation of the Guitar at Awit program. According to Schneider, Hunter, and Bardock's 2019 study, potential cognitive benefits from playing music among cognitively intact older people 
it was shown that playing music helps activate many areas of the brain and reduces the cognitive impairments of old people. In addition, in the study titled The Association Between Singing and or Playing a Musical Instrument and Cognitive Functions in Older Adults by Mansens, the Egg Comage in 2018, the researchers found that making music was significantly positively associated with letter fluency, learning and attention short-term memory. In this study, participants who only played an instrument got higher scores compared to participants who made no music on learning, working memory, and processing speed. Also, the instrument-only group had a higher score than participants who only sang in terms of processing speed. Based on a controlled trial conducted by Coulton, Cliff, Skingley, and Rodriguez in 2015, the results showed that group singing had a significant effect on mental health-related quality of life, anxiety, and depression. According to the study, singing together helps maintain and improve the mental health of older people. Moreover, in Cliff and Morrison's research titled, Group Singing Fosters Mental Health and Well-Being, Findings from the East Kent Singing for Health Network Project. Group singing has, has substantial benefits and helps people with health problems, whether physical or mental. There are also some studies that discuss the relationship of listening and creating music to the growth and strengthening of the organization of a community or group of people. The following are some of the publications regarding this topic. The study by Tar, Launay, and Dunbar in 2014 entitled Music and Social Bonding, Self-Other. Merging and Neurohormonal Mechanisms, and the study by Stupacher, Witek, and Wuski, as well as Boost, uh, published in 2020, titled Cultural Familiar Familiarity and Individual Musical Taste Definitely Affects Social Bonding When Moving to Music. According to studies in a systematic review published in European Journal of Integra Integrative Medicine by Gonot Skopinx, et al. Laughter and humor were found to benefit personal development outcomes related to biological, psychological, social and socio-economic, environmental, and behavioral factors. It also acts as a pain reliever and plays a crucial role in social bonding, according to a study by Dunbar et al. In addition, studies have shown that being grateful has many benefits in human life. It gives pleasure increases psychological well-being, improves relationship with other people, encourages people to be generous, and increase a positive outlook on life. It also reduces depressive symptoms, lowers blood pressure, helps sleep quality, and guides the recovery of people experiencing depression. These research studies played a very important role when we designed the methodology for the remote implementation of Gitara at AWIT program. The guitar class methodology of Guitar at Awit was developed based on our many years of experience in teaching face-to-face -face classroom guitar courses for music education majors at the UP College of Music and for music therapy majors at Illinois State University. During its first implementation in 2019, according to participants' testimonials, this guitar class methodology succeeded in providing an opportunity to UP employees to learn playing music while doing an activity that served as a stress reliever and a community building activity. However, since there is an urgent need to shift the class delivery mode from full face-to-face -to, -face to remote because of the pandemic, the, met the methodology for the succeeding implementation of GA should be revised and contextualized to be able to work effectively in an online class setup. Thus, the GA organizing team searched and carefully studied if there is an available, harmonized, integrated, and secured online learning management system that can still be used to accomplish the objectives of the program in providing an opportunity to UP employees to learn playing music, join in a wellness activity, as well as a community building activity. Fortunately, all faculty, students, administrative staff, as well as alumni 
have access to the Google Workspace for Education as part of the UP system subscription. Now, there is a possible platform that can be used to deliver the materials needed for the weekly online classes, such as the class syllabus, the music scores, recording and practice tracks, listening materials, and tutorial videos. Also, a platform that can be used for assessment and evaluation process. Moreover, since this proposed methodology requires a lot of technical skills, it was necessary to invite new volunteers to serve as tech support team that will guide the teachers and participants in using this new technology, as well as audio and video editing team that will be assigned to lead the virtual culminating recital, recital to be broadcasted on UP College of Music's YouTube channel at the end of each term. As a result, the GA teaching team was able to create a new class guitar methodology by mixing traditional method used during the first GA implementation and modern method using a harmonized, integrated, and secured online learning management system, as well as integrating positive human values that have proven by studies to help remove anxiety and stress, such as smiling, laughing, and being grateful into their repertoire and use as themes and topics during the class sharing and culminating activities. This GA guitar class method was used during the second, the third, and the fourth implementation of the program, the GA2, GA3, and GA4. The GA class meets once a week for one and a half hours via Zoom and uses the Google Workspace as a learning management system. To be able to assess the participants' musical abilities, they are required to learn and record two songs. The recordings will be submitted, one in the middle of the term and one at the end. Then will be processed and presented during the end term culminating activity in a virtual recital. In addition, to assess whether the program had an effect on the well-being of the participants, they were asked to answer the following questions and encouraged to share their responses during the virtual culminating activity. The questions are, At the culminating activities of GA2, GA3, and GA4, participants shared their experiences and the positive effects they had on them in participating in the program. Besides learning new knowledge such as reading and playing chord diagrams or charts, recognizing and playing using standard and tablature notation, singing simple song while playing the guitar, and performing in a virtual culminating recital. Participants also shared that GA helped them to relieve stress improve themselves, make new acquaintances and friends, and get closer to their families. One of the GA2 participants who represented the class said, We have a lot of fun and interactions every time the class ends. We had fun and we look forward to Tuesdays. Playing the guitar is also a stress reliever caused by the pandemic. We are very happy with ourselves every time we finish a video recording. It may be simple to others, but to us, we consider it a big personal achievement. Learning to play a musical instrument like the guitar has a unique sense of fulfillment. In addition to what we've learned in playing the guitar, we learn some of life lessons. Be open-minded to change. We will get there if we persevere. Our patience grows longer. We get more done when we work together. Age is not a barrier to learning new knowledge or skills. Another participant shared their class experience during the GA3 culminating activity. She said, Guitar at Awit helped us a lot because it served as a break from office work every Tuesday from March to June of the current year. Our perspective has been positively changed and we have de developed ourselves. Met many classmates who are also fellow employees from other UP offices. Now I can say that I have self-confidence and courage to learn music or anything else because there is always a way if we choose to look for them. Whether this is whether there is a pandemic or not, it is possible to learn even if it's online. GA also serve as a task with our families, especially if there were video recordings. We have our children with us as supporters during the recordings, our husbands as critics, 
and cheerleaders whenever we have a song play. It's also important to share the testimony of the daughter of one of the participants who sat in the class and joined her father while attending GA3. She said, I support the scientific studies that say music strengthens bond. I think I got closer to that in this program because it provides common ground for both of us and because it also gives us the opportunity to get together and to get to know each other better, be it in class, practicing, or recording our assignments. Another participant from UP Mindanao shared the experience of their group in joining GA4. They said, The processing and sharing time every session is a very big help. This is where we have the opportunity to share our experience and feelings to other participants. GA4 is a therapeutic activity to alleviate our sadness and worries because of the program's sensible purpose. It has been a huge help to our overall mental well-being. Lastly, here is the testimony of a participant who joined the first GA, then later decided to continue to GA2, GA3, GA4, and GA5 not only as a participant but also a volunteer volunteer to be part uh, of the GA organizing team. He said in his testimony in GA4, I believe that this extension work must be continued throughout UP not only to the employees of various constituent universities around the country but to the entire university community as well as their family members as well as their family members because we have seen that it is also an effective way for each member of the family to bond, which has been proven and experienced by some participants involved in Guitar at Awit. The program also influenced the spouses, children, siblings, and friends of the participants to try playing the guitar as well as, as, well as help us to deepen the relationship with our loved ones. Due to the immediate need to have additional programs dedicated to the health and wellness of UP employees, especially during the early stage of the pandemic, the faculty, students, alumni, and administrative staff came together, helped each other, and became united to address the needs of their fellows through the extension work Guitar at Awid. Based on studies presented a while ago, there are evidences stating that listening and creating music, as well as playing and singing at the same time, have many good effects on people's physical and mental health, as well as, as, well as helps in building and bonding a community. In addition, studies have shown that laughter and humor were found to benefit personal development outcomes and that being grateful has many benefits in human life. The results of these studies also correspond to the shared testimonies of participants in GA2, GA3, and GA4. Due to the positive effects shared by the participants, we see its great potential to be part of a wider extension work, not only for UP administrative staff and faculty, but also for students in different constituent universities throughout the UP system, as well as their families. Moreover, since we commissioned a new musical composition for the GA4 participants that they premiered during their virtual recital, we also saw its potential to pave the way for the development of the Filipino classical guitar literature and to contribute to the limited musical compositions for classical guitar created by local composers. Thus, Guitar at Awit also have a potential to become partners in the implementation of creative work projects in the future. Additionally, with the creation of a new methodology designed for remote learning, we saw the potential to carry out this type of health and wellness program, not only in UP Diliman, but to other UP campuses in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Thus, in GA3, we had the opportunity to serve employees from UP Manila, UP Tacloban, and UP Cebu. And in GA4, employees from UP Mindanao and UP Baguio joined the program. Apart from doing it as a public service program or extension work, we also saw the potential of Guitar at Awit to become a multidisciplinary research and development project and undergo deeper analysis through controlled trials. The results regarding the impact of the program on the physical and psychological health of the participants will be more credible and acceptable. This is also an opportunity to study and analyze the potential of the program to be a community and team building activity. After this research, it can lead to the establishment of an accepted and standard program that will serve as a training and educational program, community and team building activity, and health and wellness program. It is like hitting three birds in one stone. We hope that in the future, Guitar at Awit program will be used 
and help not only the employees of the whole UP system, but also various Philippine government agencies, as well as private organizations, in promoting additional programs that can address the needs and promote the welfare of their constituents. May this small and simple idea of ours contribute to the development of our country and serve as an instrument to help us fulfill our sworn duty and fulfill the mandate assigned to serve the people and our fellow Filipinos. Thank you.